Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. just got about 15-20 minutes of shooting light left and uh, we've had quite the eventful evening. We had a nice, uh, I don't know, I think it was a three and a half year old, nice eight come down, trailing some does and uh, he wasn't the one that we're after. And then shortly after that we had uh, another buck chasing a doe and another buck below us come out of the sanctuary. So we're going to come and sit here in the morning gonna leave the camera stand and the uh, camera arm all set up for a nice quiet entry. So I'll be looking for us to hunt back here in the morning. I think we got a few hot does uh, or does that are gonna be coming in soon. So it could be an eventful morning. Thanks for watching Midwest White Tail. Well it's uh, November 17th. Uh, it's a little bit warm. Um, I, this is not really a hunting blog of, of sort. Uh, basically, it's just kind of an update of what's been going on. Um, we, when we have a large acorn crop, we we got one set of stands that just isn't very productive. There's not really any acorns down on that end. Um, mostly tulip poplars and you know just trees like that. So uh, we don't typically hunt it until a lot of the acorns gone. So. The other night I was going to go ahead and try it for the first time and I got about uh, about 60 yards off the road and I found one of our deer. One of the deer, um, we didn't get a lot of pictures and we're really not for sure which one he is, but uh, it's a nice big 10 point. Um, looks like he'd been hit by a car. There's, there's some 
uh, trees that's dropping acorns in yards and you know it makes real easy pickings and they you know several times after leaving the the stands and going home we've passed this area and we've seen deer standing underneath them so uh, I'm sure he just got hit by a car uh, I, I looked and there wasn't anything you know didn't look like there was a bullet wound or a, or a, a bow shot or anything like that on him it, it just you know at the time there you know he still was intact pretty good the coyote hadn't got to him but now it's a little bit different story well this is him he's uh He's a pretty decent 10 point, a uh, nice heavy rack, a little short, a little stumpy. Um, around here, you know, it's it's tough to get on decent deer. Um, this is shooters around here. So, um, yeah, we would we would have shot him. And it's, it's unfortunate that this is how it ends for him. So, uh, it's just another chapter to the, to our saga this year, a year and a half old deer and the, the best deal that we see is laying here after being hit by a car. So uh, that's the way it goes. That's why they call it hunting, not killing. So yeah, you know, we still got a good bit of time left. You know, we can hunt clear up till February. So um, as long as I can stick it out, <laughs> we'll we'll continue on. Morning, of November 18th, and I am uh, back in my urban spot. It has uh, been about a week since I've been out, or checked any trail cameras so I'm not quite sure how the activity's been in here but um, back in a spot where I had to encounter with stubs and uh, I wasn't here a few days after that and just uh, seen a couple young bucks and um, I actually got down the farm as well and uh, it's pretty much the same down there it was kind of slow and um, just, just haven't seen much uh, since I had an encounter with stubs, so. But we got some, uh, some weather moving in here. It's a little, uh, gonna be a little breezy today, probably about 10 to 15 mile an hour winds expected, and get some rain tonight, and it's supposed to get really windy tomorrow. I think 40, 50 mile an hour winds, so I probably won't be hunting tomorrow, but try to hunt most of the day today, and, uh, see if I can't get lucky and, uh, get a buck to come through, so we'll see how it goes. All right, it's getting late in the morning here, and um, I haven't seen many, I haven't seen any deer since those couple earlier this morning, and um, it's now starting to get some rain, so get ready to pack everything up here, and uh, I'll probably check some cameras on the way out just to see how the activity's been uh, this week, hopefully, and uh, if there's anything good, I'll probably try to hunt uh, in here this afternoon, uh, depending on the weather, so. If not, maybe I'll even uh, shoot down the farm, but pack up and uh, get a plane together and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, just got everything all set up here finally for this afternoon. And um, I need to get my bow up or camera set up. I had a really nice eight pointer. Walk across here on my left side into the thicket, about 40 yards. I think I would have had a shot anyways, but whew, I um, hunted here till about 10, 10, 11 o'clock or so. Didn't really see anything. And haven't been up here for, I don't know, about a week or so, like I said earlier. So I figured I'd get down and check some cameras. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna hunt in here this afternoon. And uh, several different cameras. Was a couple different nice bucks, uh, including the buck stubs I'm after in here. He showed up again and uh, two really nice other bucks, so. And then that was one of them. Still drizzling this a little bit. And uh, I just can't believe it. That's how my luck's been this year, so. But the good 
news is there's a nice one in, the, in here, so maybe he'll work his way back by. I know there was some does up on the other side of the hill there, so definitely was in uh, search mode, but I don't know. We'll get settled in here and see how it goes. Down the last few minutes of light here, and uh, haven't seen anything since that buck right before I got set up. And uh, I feel like it's just how the season's been for me so far. Just a few minutes, a few yards, and uh, things would have been probably much different, but. We got deer. Wrapping up and doing a closing interview, and it looks to be what uh, uh, the buck I seen this morning the goofy looking buck. I think he's like a two year old, uh, has one good look inside. I'm not sure what happened to him, but looked pretty healthy and appeared to be fine. So he was grunting her, grunting and pushing her along, jumped across the creek there. It's pretty cool. Started stomping on her to stand going after. But, uh, there's three other bucks, at, at least three other bucks bigger than him in here, so. But, just not the right one. Yeah. As I was saying before, he just come through here a few minutes, a few yards different, and uh, my season would probably be a lot different right now, but I feel like it's kind of how it's been going for me here. Close, but just, uh, not enough, so. But I guess that's bow hunting. It's, uh. Timing is everything, I guess, so. I'm gonna keep after it. And, uh, hopefully I can get one of these bucks in bow range and make it happen, so. Thanks for watching, Midwest Whitetail, and, uh, see you guys next time. Alright, it's the, uh, Evening of November 19th, I think it is. And uh, first time out in about a week or so. <clears throat> and um, it's gonna be interesting up there. I'm gonna try and get to a stand that uh, hung back in August. And I tried to hunt it first of the part of the rut there at first November, but um, we kept on having these east winds and it just wasn't gonna work out. Um, so we got a pretty stiff west wind tonight. And uh, when I say stiff, it's like 15 to 20. Uh, so we could get up there and regret our decision <laughs> hunting that stand, but anyway, it's about 2.30 right now, 2.15. I'm um, going to go up there and get settled in, hopefully stay warm and try not to get blown out of the tree. It's going to be a windy one up there tonight, I think.
I just got settled into the tree. When I did that opening interview, I was on the downwind side of a ridge from the way the wind's going right now. And uh, it shelters it pretty good, so you get up here and you're kind of exposed to the wind. But uh, this spot feels pretty good. Um, kind of tucked into the timber here. If you remember back on a video blog I did on November 8th, uh, that's the last encounter I had with the club. And that was in a redneck about 100 yards, 150 yards from here, uh, behind him to my right shoulder. And he had come from this direction, so he would have walked within 20 yards of the stand. Um, so uh, I got a pretty heavily used trail leading up to this bean field, big and beastie field coming out, coming out of the bedding. But uh, the plan is, being in mid-November here, that the bucks are gonna be crossing these doe trails, uh, these heavily used doe trails, and they'll, they'll cross-check them. Um, so uh, this is a pretty good funnel. It's just a matter of the deer are gonna be moving this, this windy. It's supposed to die off a little bit as it gets, gets later in the evening, but uh, we got about, I don't know, it's only like 2.30 right now, so we got about three hours, three and a half hours to stick this out. I'm all bundled up. Um, Got my warm boots on, got my neck gaiter on, and uh, like I said, I got the hunter orange on for use season here in Ohio, but we'll hold on to the tree here for the next two or three hours, and hopefully we'll have a passing buck and bring it to you. About an hour into the hunt here, and uh, starting to question my sanity a little bit with this wind. It's got to be at least 20 to 30 mile an hour wind gust, and I'm getting hit in the face with some sleet, snow. But uh, I'm gonna try and sit this out for another couple hours. Hopefully, these winds are about over with as far as the strong ones go. I don't know if deer be up moving this kind of weather or not. So I know I wouldn't want to be. The sun is just getting ready to set, and uh, as you can tell, the wind is still howling up here. Um, I did have a, uh, a doe and a fawn work about 30 yards from me, from this bedding area, up to the uh, up to the soybeans, big and beastie. And um, once they got up there, I saw a little one and a half year old doe or. Uh, one and a half year old buck bumping them around a little bit, but that has been pretty much it. I mean, even the I filmed a couple of squirrels, neither the squirrels didn't want to move. They just wanted to hunker down and keep warm. This wind's uh, pretty brutal, but um, still got about 20 minutes of shooting light left, probably. But uh, I'm going to try and get quiet and uh, focus on hunting instead of this interview here. So I wanted to sign off here. If something comes out, I'll bring it to you. But if not, um, with Thanksgiving coming up, I don't know how much I'll be able to get out. Uh, but as the late season, as the you know post rut kicks in, I think uh, our farm has always done really well, getting our bucks back and, and uh, the, the deer going to our food sources. So uh, we've got plenty of food for them this winter. Um, hopefully we'll have it set up pretty good that we can 
hunt these deer as they come back from the rut and uh, be successful at it. But we'll hope for some cold weather. But if you guys are still out there grinding, um, keep at it. And, uh, you know, it should start getting really good again with these, with less and less does uh, going into estrus now. These bucks have to start looking for them. So good luck out there. And uh, like I said, if something else comes out, I'll bring it to you. But if not, uh, we'll probably see you back here in a few days. All right. Dad, I keep my hat. All right. Yeah, I keep my hat on. Okay, that's fine. We are ready to go check coyote traps, aren't we, Cole? Yeah. I've got my trapping buddy with me back there. Huh? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> he's got his Eggo waffle. He's ready to roll. So, anyway, guys, we're. Uh, it is November 18th today, I think, somewhere in there, and I got my little trapping buddy with me, and we're gonna go check our our uh, coyote trap line that we got out. Yep. Oh, he's a big coon. It's a big coon. Yeah, it's a big coon. You haven't, you haven't even seen it yet. Huh? I see him. I see him. Yeah. You see him? Yeah, he's right here. All right, let's go get him. Okay. Daddy, you got you done? <laughs> yeah, I got my gun. Okay. Come on. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> 